Hi everyone. Uh, so let's look at the next question here. A very good question. Uh, two, three concepts will be used in this in this question. Okay. So let's see a typical cat level question. So let's see let's see this here. It says that in the figure given below, AM, AN, and BC are tangents to the circle. Uh, AB is eight centimeter. So AB eight. BC is seven cent. Sorry, BC is seven centimeter. So BC is seven. Okay. And uh, CA is nine centimeter. So I need to find the uh, radius of circle here. So okay. So let's say this is center of circle is somewhere here. So we'll just join this because we know that radius and tangent forms an angle of ninety degree. So we'll join these two parts. Okay. And now this is ninety degree. This is ninety degree, and this is the radius of circle here. Okay. And we need to find the uh, find R here. So this, uh, see my first goal will be see uh, see this again for this part here. I know that let's say this is uh, this is the from this part and this part. Okay, so let's name it uh, Q here. Okay, so I know that BQ. I know that BQ and QC are ten uh, tangents here. Sorry, BQ uh, BQ and BM are tangents here, right? So now if the length of BM is x, so if I if I say that let's say the length of BM is x here. So BM is equal to x. So in that case, BQ will also be x, है ना? So BQ is equal to BM is equal to x because from any external point, length of both the tangents drawn are basically equal. Okay. So now if this full BC is seven, so in that case, QC will be seven minus x. So I can tell that QC is equal to seven minus x. Okay. So QC is seven minus x here. Fine. Uh, after that, so now this. From C, CQ is tangent, or and CN and, and is also tangent CN, है ना? So QC and CN will be equal, and CN also will be sine minus x here. Okay. So now and uh, I can see that now AM and uh, AN also will be equal, right? So I can see here that AM and AN will be equal because for the same reason, from any external point, length of both the tangents are same. So now what is the length of AM here? AM is equal to eight plus x. What is the length of a n here? A n is equal to nine plus seven minus x. That is sixteen minus x. Okay. So now uh, uh, I'll be getting two x is equal to eight. Therefore, x will be equal to four. है ना? तो इसके लिए आपका x four आ गया. तो ऐसे आपका x four आ गया. So this b m is four and this uh, q c uh, this is three here. This c n is also three. Seven minus four is three. Okay. So that means a m equal to a n. आपका क्या आ गया यहाँ पे twelve आ गया. So I got twelve here. Great. Okay. A M equal to A N. I got as twelve. Good. Okay. Now, uh, if if I move further here, so I can see that this in in this uh, quadrilateral here, A M and let's put this center as O here. Okay. So A M O N. So A M O N is a quadrilateral, right? What happens in A M O N? So I can see that there are two perpendiculars here. This R and R are the perpendiculars, right? That means I can divide the whole area into two triangles. So if I if I join this uh, from here, if I join this A and O, so basically I'll I'll see that the the sum of area of these two triangles, right? For example, I can write here the area of quadrilateral A M O N should be equal to two triangles. That is A M O plus uh. Triangle AMO plus triangle ONA. Okay, now this should be actually equal. So now, what is the area? What is this area here? So I can see that in triangle AMO, it is half into height into base. So this height is twelve here. This AM is twelve, and this is R. So half into R into twelve plus triangle ONA. So triangle ONA will be equal to a uh, half into r into again 12 so half into uh, this r into again 12 okay mm. half into r into 12 because basically both the triangles will be same right okay so what i can say now so this is the area, this is the area of whole quadrilateral amon okay now further what i can say that so you can write in terms of r here okay so in terms of r that basically will be how much 12 r i can write yes okay fine Now what I can do further? Now it is area. I can also get area of triangle. I need to find radius, right? So see, my uh, my aim here will be what I can do. 
I can just mark this area of full triangle AMO plus ONA huh, is equal to total. So I got this in terms of total 12R, right? So this whole quadrilateral is 12R. Now this 12R, basically what I can do, I can further transform into two parts here because I know that this is R and this is R and this is R. So I can e easily get the area of triangle OBC, uh, ABC. Okay. Now, for example, see what is area of triangle ABC? So area of triangle ABC will be its area. So area of triangle ABC will be 8, 9 and 7. So it's very simple. I can get that area, right? The sides are 8, 9, 7. What is the area? Area is under root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. Now 8 plus 9 plus 7, uh, S becomes 24, 24 by 2, S will be 12. 12 into 12 minus 8 is 4, 12 minus 9 is 3 and 12 minus 7 will be 5. Okay. Now it's under root obviously, right? 12, 4, 48, 3, 144 and 144 into 5 is 720. 144 into 5. So 144 root is 12, 12 root 5. So I got this as 12 root 5 here. Fine. But what I got this, this I got area of triangle ABC. Okay. Now further what I can think here that now observe this uh, in this part area there are basically uh, three things here in this in this part triangle this is a pentagon right b m o n c so i can break this i can break this into two triangles here okay now uh, basically this is a triangle b m o uh, okay so four r yes half into now yeah see so basically what is the a? i can just join here and again join here okay so what is the area here guys so i know that this this base is c this is three no this cn is actually three now note that this n is this point actually it is tangent okay i've written a little bit here but yeah it's written that a n are tangent so a n is a tangent okay so this part from here to here it is only three okay so now i can see that the area of this triangle will be how much so area of this triangle will be that is area of triangle bmo so triangle B M O area will be half into four R into R that is because it's 90 degree, you know, so based into height. So half into four into R. What is the area of this triangle? Half into three into R. Area of triangle O N C is equal to half into three into R and plus area of triangle B O C. So this is seven and this is again R. Okay. So area of triangle B O C okay so area of triangle B O C will be equal to half into this this height is R and its base is 7 so half into R into 7 right so total uh, should be equal to uh, the area which I got 12 R here so what I can get what, what I can write here now finally I can write that the total area I got as 12 R okay so the total area I got as 12R, this 12R is for hold this, this part, right? Hold this part, A, M, O, R is a whole. This area 12R, this is equal to this triangle. What is the area of this triangle? So area of this triangle, I got as 12 root 5. See how you have 12 root 5? So is equal to 12 root 5 plus area of these, these parts here, right? So this part plus area of this part plus area of this triangle B, this is middle part here. Okay, so area of this middle part here this area okay so sum of all these three areas is equal to how much uh, this is uh, 4r 3r and 7r so 4 3 7 and 7 14 14r 14 by 2 if i add it i'll be getting 14r uh, by 2 that is equal to 7r so this 12 root 5 plus 7r okay so now, uh, what is the value? I want to get the value of R here, right? So 5R is equal to 12 root 5. So R will be equal to, let's just say 5R equal to 12 root 5. Yeah. So R will be equal to 12 uh, by root 5, I can write. Okay. And you can just check the options. Kaise options hai? You can just look at that, right? That's the answer. Okay. So that was the question here, guys. Achha question tha basically. Okay. You have to see here. You have to see here. You have to see here. So what th uh, the first thing is that you have to convert the whole here to R. So what I thought that the whole triangle, your quadrilateral, this quadrilateral A M O N, 
इसको हम ब्रेक कर सकते हैं ट्रायंगल ए बी सी में और प्लस ये तीन स्मॉल ट्रायंगल दिस ट्रायंगल प्लस दिस ट्रायंगल ओके सो दिस ट्रायंगल प्लस दिस ट्रायंगल प्लस दिस ट्रायंगल तो हमने तीनों इक्वेट कर दिया एंड यू गॉट द एरिया सो बेसिकली एक फंडा था मैंने पढ़ाया था पहले भी आप लोगों को दैट फंडा वॉज सम ऑफ पार्ट इक्वल टू टोटल ओके सम ऑफ पार्ट इज इक्वल टू टोटल ओके सही हो बोला फिर गॉड दिस राइट ठीक है ऑल्सो दिस वन मोर मेथड टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन गई विल लुक एट दैट लेट्स लुक एट मेथड टू टू सॉल्व सच काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन और दिस इज एक्चुअली अबाउट एक्स सर्कल ओके सो द फंडा ऑफ एक्स सर्कल आई कैन डायरेक्टली यूज यर नो वट इज एक्स सर्कल आई टेल यू लेट्स ए फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई मेरे ट्राइंगल ये ओके सर मेरे ट्राइंगल लाइक दिस एंड इफ आई एक्सटेंड द टू साइड्स ऑफ द ट्राइंगल सो इफ आई एक्सटेंड द टू साइड्स ऑफ ट्राइंगल तो लेट्स ए आई एक्सटेंड दिस साइड and i extend this side of the triangle and i can draw a circle with the two extended sides and this third side of triangle all as tangents right something like this something like this okay so now this is a funda this is a x circle right what is this x circle so basically all the three side uh, this two extended sides and the original third side is tangent to this circle okay like in this this diagram also you can see the two extended sides and the third side of triangle all all three are tangent to this circle this is called x circle okay x means outer outer circle okay so now what is the radius of this circle is a direct formula to calculate the radius of such circle actually so the radius of this circle is equal to area of triangle upon s minus the uh, uh, s is a same perimeter upon let's say this is tangent to this side let's say this is tangent to this side uh, let's say this is a b this is a this is b this is c so this is tangent to third side of triangle so let's call it c this is s a upon s minus c okay so to to, to whichever side of the triangle it is tangent to side of the triangle that part i'll write here okay similarly if i want to find the formula here also the radius of this circle will be equal to area of the triangle upon s minus it is tangent to this bc bc is the side of the original triangle so bc is the side of original triangle to so s minus bc okay that's the funda so i can just solve here. what is the area of triangle i get that because sides are given that it's already ab equal to 8 bc equal to 7 and ca equal to 9 so area of triangle is equal to under root s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c now that is equal to uh, what is s here s is semi perimeter so s will be equal to 7 plus 8 plus 9 divided by 2 that is equal to 12 so under root 12 into s minus 8 12 minus 9 is 3 s minus 7 12 minus 7 is 5 s minus 8 12 minus 8 is 4 so that is basically Uh, under root seven twenty, that is under root one forty four into five, that is equal to twelve root five. So area I got as twelve root five. So I can find the radius as area is twelve root five divided by same perimeter. That is basically a twelve here. Okay, and minus B C. What is B C here? B C is seven. Okay, that is twelve minus seven. That is so big. That becomes twelve root five by five, and this root five root five will get cancelled. So I can write twelve by root five as the answer. Which I got in the last method also. Okay, so both the funda are important. So if uh, you can, the in the last method the idea was breaking pentagon into three circles. Okay, so in the last method that's the idea. How do you break pentagon into three circles? Okay, oh, sorry, three triangles. And in this uh, question, it is a it is basically x circle. So I can directly write the formula. So very very simple, right? The formula for x circle radius is a upon s minus. S minus the side to which S minus the side of original triangle to which it is tangent. It, it is tangent to C, so I'll put C here. Here it is tangent to BC, so I'll put BC here. Okay, that's the funda. So I hope all of you got this right. Okay, thank you. We'll continue in the next video. Hi guys. So also on Academy's mock uh, are going on in full swing. Okay, so we already had this mock test. So yeah, so there's one more mock test at uh, which happened at 10th of July. Okay, so once you enroll to this link. uh that is uh, that i put in description you will get the uh, link for 10 july also it is a very good mock good quality of questions was there august 14 mock was also a very good one with uh, very uh, high quality quant questions in this uh, uh, uh 
uh, August 14 mock test. So if you have missed this, you can give these two mock tests after enrolling to the link. Okay, these are absolutely free of cost. So no need to worry about any cost here. Okay, the third mock test is on August 28. That is on 12 p.m. to 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Okay. So again, you can give this test guys and this uh, should be the uh, third test and uh, hopefully we can make uh, three, four more tests uh, before CAT. Okay, so these three are in the schedule and we'll try to put few more also here. So try to give this mock test, try to analyze it. What was the issue? What were the uh, good points, bad points? What is weak, weak strength, ah, weakness strength point. So all these things we need to analyze and basically attend the analysis. I'm taking these analysis. Okay, so we can enroll to this. Okay, thank you.